welcome to week four of Camp Books. Camp Counselor Janae here. Can you believe we've already made it to week four? Those banjos and creativity badges were so, well, <laughs> creative. I'm so impressed. This week was all about science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. And after today's read-along and activity, you'll be able to receive your STEM badge. Week four of Camp Books included the books It's a Firefly Night, Harry Bear and Friends Count Fish, Adam's My First Science Textbook, and Slumberkin's Narwhal. Which part of STEM is your favorite? Science, technology, engineering, or math? Be sure to ask your grown-up to help you share your answer with us in the comments. This week's books covered many topics, as does STEM. We were able to count along with Harry Bear and his friends, learned about atoms in My First Science textbook, and learned the importance of cleaning up our environment in Slumberkin's Narwhal. One topic we haven't learned much about yet is technology and engineering. One group of people that use technology and engineering is inventors. Today's STEM book is inventors who change the world. Let's start the reading and see how these world changers used science, technology and engineering, and math to make our lives better. Before we start the book, let's gather our supplies and talk about the activity that we'll be doing together. Today, we'll be designing our very own paper airplane. Here's what you'll need. One eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and coloring utensils. That's it. All right, everyone, enjoy the book. Little Heroes, Inventors Who Change the World. Kai Loon. Little Kai liked watching wasps make their delicate nests from strips of bamboo. In AD 105, Kai gathered tiny pieces of bark, old rags, and fishing nets. He mixed them together, pressed the mixture flat, and dipped it in water. When the sheet dried, presto, Kai had invented the first piece of paper. Johannes Gutenberg. Like a new star, it shall scatter the darkness of ignorance and cause a light heretofore unknown to shine amongst men. Little Johannes lived at a time when hardly anyone had books because it took too long to write out copies by hand. Around 1439, Johannes set metal letters down in a block. Adding ink and paper, Johannes created the first printing press. He could print thousands of pages in no time. Ideas started spreading around the globe. Leonardo da Vinci Learning never exhausts the mind. Little Leonardo was curious about everything. He watched, he measured, he wrote, he wondered. He drew plans for machines that became real hundreds of years later, like a submarine, bicycle, and helicopter with his greatest tool a paintbrush leonardo invented ways to paint that made him the most famous artist in the world
Thomas Edison. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Little Thomas was always reading and asking questions. One question was, why must I use dirty, smelly gas lamps to light my home at night? He began to tinker with light bulbs. In 1879, after hundreds of failed attempts, he finally found a way to keep one lit. Now people all over the world use electricity to see in the dark. Louis Pasteur. To know how to wonder and question is the first step toward discovery. Little Louis lived when no one really knew why people got sick. Using his microscope, he looked and looked and looked for the answer. Finally, Louis discovered something no one else could see. Germs! He found that if you boiled the germs, they went away. In 1885, Louis learned that germs could protect people too. Since then, Louis' vaccines have saved millions of lives. Marie Curie. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Little Marie loved to study elements, materials that come from the earth. She tested a special rock until she found a strange glowing blue light. What could it be? Marie had discovered a brand new element, radium. Doctors soon found that radium could fight off deadly cancers. In 1903, Marie was the first woman to ever win a Nobel Prize. The Wright Brothers. Isn't it astonishing that all these secrets have been preserved for so many years just so we could discover them? Little Wilbur and Orville were brothers who liked to tinker with machines. One day, their father brought home a toy helicopter that flew. They wanted to fly too. They studied the wings, the tail, and everything they needed to know about flight. Crashing never discouraged them for long. Finally, in 1903, they flew the first airplane. Grace Murray Hopper. If you've got a good idea and you know it's going to work, go ahead and do it. Little Grace loved learning about math, science, and cool gadgets. Once, she took apart seven alarm clocks just to see how the gears worked. When she got older, Grace figured out how to program a room-sized computer to respond to human language, not just number codes. Now people all over the world can use computers every day. These 
heroes imagined and invented a better world. What kind of hero will you be? What were your favorite inventions? Does this book make you want to be an inventor? I hope you're ready because now we're going to create our very own airplanes, just like the Wright brothers. Okay, you're going to start with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. First thing you want to do is fold it in half lengthwise or hot dog, not hamburger. <laughs> so you'll fold it in half, then you're gonna open the paper back up again, like this, and you'll take one corner and fold it in toward the crease, just like this, okay? Next, you're gonna repeat on the other side. The same exact thing in toward the crease, like that. And remember, if you wanna ask a grown-up for help with this, that's okay. Then you'll close the paper with the folded edges inside, just like that. Okay, the next step is to fold the top edge right up here in half down toward the bottom edge and press it down like that. Then you're gonna flip the paper over and repeat the same thing on this side. So you'll take the top edge and fold it in half down toward the bottom edge and then press it down with your fingers, just like that. The next thing you can do is decorate your airplane. Now we have lots of decorations here, but I wanna keep mine kind of simple and I'm gonna use markers. You can use stickers if you want to. It does make it fly a little differently depending on what you put on it. So have fun with it and see what happens. I'm gonna start by, um, I'm gonna write my name so everyone will know this is the plane that I made. Then I'm gonna take some blue and I'm gonna color on this side and I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing over here and take some yellow now I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow on the end of my airplane, on the nose, like that. Let's do some orange on this side. And remember, you can do whatever you want here. Just have fun with it. Maybe I'll add some purple dots. Do a dot, 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 like that. There's so much you can do with this and you can just have fun and be creative. We'll do one last color here. I'm gonna do a heart, like that. Great job, everyone. Now that you've decorated your paper airplane, the next step is to open up the wings like this. Lift that one up and lift that one up while holding this middle piece right here. Then we can let it fly. I'm gonna try mine out. <gasps> it flew so great! Way to go, campers! I'm sure your airplanes are flying fantastically as well. Now, you have finished the last activity for the fourth week of Camp Vooks. Great job! You have now earned your STEM badge. You can decorate your badge and you'll just need some coloring utensils and scissors to cut it out. I've already decorated my badge and I cut it out. I can't wait to start next week and earn my next badge. Remember, we would love to see your paper airplanes and your decorated badges. With approval from your grown-up or your camp counselor, make sure to share your badge and activities with Vooks by tagging hashtag Camp Vooks on social media. Remember, if you've loved these activities, we have many, many more for you at vooks.com resources. 
be sure to check it out. This has been Camp Counselor Janae. Thank you for joining us, and I cannot wait to see you next week when we can earn our dream big badge. See you soon.